Okay, and we have just talked about the IV characteristic for the MPN transistor. And uh, there is a similar IV characteristic for a PMP transistor. And again, it's just, I'm not going to redo the whole um, analysis because it's very simple. Uh, the only thing we need to do is reverse the polarity of the voltages or reverse the order of the subscripts in the voltages. So, for example, I can do this uh, real time for you. Instead of this being IC versus VBE, this will be IC versus VEB. Other than that, it will be the exact same shape. We're talking now about PMP transistor. And then uh, for the IC versus uh, VEC curve in this case, it will be the exact same um, exact same curves, exact same values. This will now be VEC. Saturation. And again, you're just changing the polarities um, of those voltages. So in the case of cutoff, you need to make sure that your VEB voltage um, is less than 0.7 volts so that that uh, emitter base junction is um, is off or is not forward biased. For the saturation, we have VEB being forward biased and VEC being smaller than the saturation voltage. And for the linear active region, we will have VEB being forward biased and VEC being greater than the saturation voltage. Um, instead of VEC maximum here, we will have VEC for collector breakdown. Um, and the power calculation will be obviously collector current times um, VEC, emitter collector voltage. Other than that, everything should remain uh, the same, same behavior. Thank you.